From the art of the deal to keeping it real. Keeping it real. Live from the Simply Vegas studios, it's the Power Move with John Gafford. Back again. Back again. Back again. Back again. Welcome to the Power Move. My name is John Gafford. On this podcast, we talk about life, we talk about business, we talk about lots of stuff to make you better. I talk. The counselor Chris Connell talks. How are you, counselor? Living the dream. What's good? And then we always have the insight from the mind. The polo assassin. The deep space. The polo assassin. <laughs> Voting day, too, guys. The Bulgarian Mom, mongoose called Eminem. People, uh, Cole just going to go right into it. You didn't, you didn't wait. Listen, listen. I when, heard the, when I, we're I, announcing I, you to the oh, ring, okay. you strut to the ring. And then when the pyro goes off, then you start talking. That's how it works. We get some indoor fireworks. A, That's how it works. We did at your quinceanera, Colt. Yeah, there, dude, there was. Swear to God, I indoor fireworks. That. I swear That's... that that building was made of asbestos. Yeah, that there's not no have way down. that, that, that those, those things. That, yeah, that, that, those fireworks were I went to the person and that. asked. I'm like, those are not flammable, right? I'm like, yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> not, <laughs> how, wait, how are fireworks non-flammable? No, no, no. no the they've the got ceiling the tiles that were just being oh, yeah. showered with flames. That was going to be a great white concert for sure. Oh, that I was thought we were all. I'm like, great white yeah, I'm like one one fire exit. That's like a forge. How bad. crazy would that have been? Like on the news, local businessman, attorney, blah, got blah, barbecued obvious. by quinceanera fireworks, <laughs> died, and it's more like, interesting yeah, than like quinceanera. Yeah, had quinceanera. a heart attack on the golf course. I mean, I think it's more interesting. I mean, you want to die a specific way like that. Yeah, I'd like to not know it's coming. Just, yeah, but just I'd like cigars. something crazy like that because then, you know. 100th birthday off the Bass Coronation of Ferrari is kind of my, you know, top That's the way to go. Right That'd be awesome. Yeah, That's like the way Grace to go. Kelly. Grace Kelly, go out like royalty. <laughs> just, <laughs> royalty. Just, just, <laughs> speaking of royalty, today is election day. Vote for your king or queen. Yeah, I mean, you, you know what? Look, I, what's a, so let me ask you this, Cole. What's a bigger letdown? That you did not win the two point nine or two point three billion dollars in the lotto, or who was on the ballot today? What was the bigger letdown for you? You know what? Like the two point or one point nine billion is just fun. The ballot's not fun, yeah. right? Like that's actual real stuff. And I legit have never last election. I felt it a little bit, but this election was like. Jesus, I don't want to vote for any of these people. Like, it was that bad. <laughs> sorry, Good sorry, Lord. Sorry, Such sorry. a dick. Like, I'm being serious. Our fucking uh, yeah, world listen, is Colt. ran by a bunch of idiots, and <laughs> you guys are laughing about it. No, yeah. I will, I'll just, anytime you ever say anything serious from here on out, I'm going right to the can laughter. On the you board. know what I saw <laughs> yesterday going down the street? <laughs> perfect. A big billboard from McDonald's. It was in Spanish, of course, which I didn't See? understand. I lived See? in the the hood, apparently. But it's for dad. It's for it dad. is one seventy nine or something for any size of coffee. See, oh, I, yeah, I saw Why you coming. I thought it was a hell? buck. No, no, it's a dollar seventy nine. Whatever, but you can get any it is. size, any size. You pick your size. They've had their drink. Well, because some people don't want the full extra large. They're not value shoppers. Some people want a large. Some people want a medium. Some people just want. You know, it's like, do but you want to go to a buffet? The same. No, but again, it doesn't matter because your coffee is your coffee, right? A gallon of coffee or some people like a little espresso. It's about preference at that point, right? Yeah. No, no. Mm -hmm. Espresso, yes, but if you're getting the same coffee, you get the large thing. Well, if they you, offered well, me okay, something, well, I'm throwing it away. I think most people would. Here's a question. But do you, do you, like, do you go to 7-Eleven, do you go for the big gulp? Do you go for like the double big gulp, the I biggest thing you can I, get? I don't drink that stuff, so I would. Like I, say, I get the XL I would. coffees. From, I get the XL coffees. Only. Coffees. I don't get big. I don't, I haven't, when yeah, I, I see like the guy. the popcorn is the tub that no one can eat, but it's only 25 cents more. Yeah, I'm getting So that. I get that, but a lot of times people just coffee's a part of a daily routine and they have their preferences. People have preferences about coffee. Well, I think you have preferences about oh, anything. I do too, but I'm I think coffee's it. kind of particular. Don't like, you? I went to dinner once um, and they forgot my salad. Of course I'm not eating the salad. I'm like, give me my salad. Then I didn't eat it. You just I you paid just for it. You just put it right in the waiter's head. Just, just picked it up and go. just dumped it right I in his head. Touched it. Go, now you can't resell it. Get it out. <laughs> There's your tip, buddy. <laughs> right on, <laughs> Take the right on Extra ranch. Yeah, I don't do. know. I mean, I thought that was weird. I, ne I guess Chris would pick a smaller coffee. No, I wouldn't. I would go, but I understand what they're doing. They're trying to make everyone maybe. So, like, let's say they used to sell smalls at a dollar forty nine. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a way of forcing people to either buy the highest because it was a dollar for a long time. They're dollar cost averaging up. They're they're, they're 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 bundling up. Yeah, they're bundling up. I get it. Well, to, on the podcast today, 
we're going to talk about something actually important, I think, which is good. It's, it's one of the things that is probably the most important thing I think you can have, and it's the value of your network. We've all heard, let's go and get the cliche statement out of the way, which you are Network the sum- is your net worth. No, you are the sum of your five closest friends. There you go. You, uh, show me your friends, I'll first. show me your future. What else are we missing? What else? Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, I think I, those were the two out of net, What's with. your net worth? Yeah. Show network. me your network, I'll show you your net worth. Yeah, yep. show me your network, I'll show you your net worth. All of those things. Which is true. And I think um, and I think the value of your network or getting ingrained with people, and people have such a hard time doing it, of growing their network. They, you know, they go to the wrong events. They don't know how to work the events properly. They have no idea what they're doing. And, and quite frankly, people don't know how, even after they make a connection with people, how to interact with them in a way that still creates value for the other person. I got a call today, literally along this line. It was a realtor called me up and said, hi, um, I want to blah, 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 uh, maybe send you referrals if I have them, right? So can we get together? Can we go meet each other and go hang out? We could see how we could like- bucks. A referral source for each other. I forgot. 100 bucks. 100 yes, bucks. No, but that's that was kind of the thing. I'm going, look, I, under no circumstances do I want to go meet you ever. I don't know you. Yeah. Like, I, you find a way to meet somebody organically, that's one thing. But to say like, hey, random person on the phone, let's go meet for coffee because I'm just going to network there's people that they just do this thing let's just network let's just network yeah they they, they love your it time worth they, they, lo- they well they love it but my thing about that is like if you're going to reach out cold to somebody like that you better find an in that creates incredible value, value for, for me yes yeah I, i'm not i'm not calling you with with uh like if i really wanted to do business with you right yeah. like if i really wanted to like cold do business with chris connell i would go on your instagram which is Connell, C-O-N-N-E-L-3-7, personal, Connell okay. Law, L-V for the business. Okay, that's a mistake. Don't have more than one. Uh, but we'll just yeah, leave that at that. So. Anyway. So. One, I have, one so. I have pictures of like Colt's feet and all that but other that's, stuff. But that's the point. But that's the, the, but the point. That's the point, right? So I would go, if, if you were a high-value target for me, and I knew there was a high-value target, I would go and Stock I would you. scour your social media. I wouldn't necessarily like any things or comment on it, but I would look through everything and I would get to know who you are as a human being. I would get to know the things that you like. Yes. And then I would send you something or send you, like, for example, I know you love jujitsu, right? So I've got uh, another guy that I know that has hookups at the UFC training facility. It's really good there and knows the current, what is it? Welterweight champion of the world at the UFC. So I could leverage that and maybe say, hey, I'm doing a dinner where uh, we're going to get some people together. This is who's going to be there. And all of a sudden now you're like, you could give two shits about meeting me, but you want to meet this other guy because sure, I sure. know you love jujitsu. So now you show up. Yeah, but but think about um, doing that when you don't have leverage. But there's always leverage. But, but, That's the point. Even always, this is what I would do. Is like let's say I was on, you know, um, like you said, yours or something. Mm-hmm. Go through. Oh, um, I saw this article about private plan ownership, and I thought of you because I saw one of your posts before. Yeah, I would do something that was not. Hey, can I meet with you? So you send me clients. No, I'm a realtor. That, that, that's, but even that's here. But, like but at, me, I'm I'm the I'm the easiest person because I am very you, like you always say. I'm so easy to kill, right? Because I'm at the same yeah, places yeah. doing the same thing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you want to get to me, yeah, I would sit there. You. I would sit there and start following me on social media. Oh, hey, blah, blah. oh, hey, I'm there, or I'd love to have a cigar with you, or whatever. Like no pitch. At all, or just when you show start up off with, with some good pitch. cigars. Yeah, or just hey, here Bring you go, value. send something. Yeah. Bring no, value. But some hey, Colt, I, I, somebody popped up and I noticed you like the same cigar as I did. Yeah. Whatever, do something that's not just hey. Can just you send me business? Pitch. I'm a realtor. I, I see you're yeah. an attorney. Can we go meet? It's like, why? Why on earth? Who? Who have you met doing this? Who? Well, I've never met an attorney that would go meet a realtor to go talk about possibly getting, you know, one of your your real estate law cases that don't exist. But do you know yeah. who else would? Other realtors. Those other guys, realtors. Those because, guys because network because they, they don't know, know how they Other they realtors know. will go meet other but, realtors. But, here, but here's, the, here's the thing. Like, what's 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 the funniest thing I've gotten from anybody in the last, because I get sent a lot of swag and stuff all the time, but what's the funniest thing I've gotten in the last six months? Do you remember this? Uh, yeah, multiple things. Um, 
I, somebody sent me a ten dollar Chili's gift yeah, card because right. oh, they that was hilarious. and as soon as I saw the Chili's gift card and it said I know you'll use this in good health yeah with a smiley face that's wonderful I knew that this person had made an investment into you yeah into what we do here because the only way they could have known that is if they listened to this. And so right. I'm like, you know what? This person's making an investment in me every year. They're, they're, they're spending an hour with us a week. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I called him. I thanked him and, and, and saw if we could do something because that What'd was a great little do door. What you with that gift card? It's still in my office. I'm, I'm not using it. I'll take it. I'll take I'll it. I'll go Chili's. get no, a freaking lava No, you will not go to Chili's. No, lava, no. Lava, no, 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 no. Different ownership group. The yeah. only, no, it doesn't matter. It all falls in some oh. bill. The only way you're going to Chili's is if you're walking in there with a camera to assault, not assault, verbally Verbally assault, lambased. Verbally <laughs> lambased. <laughs> Give GM it to me. Next Lake time City. I'm in Salt Lake, I'll go do it, and okay. then I'll, I'll order a lava that. cake. Actually, better. Boom you know what? Onion. I'm just gonna have a vet go in there and do that. I think we probably oh, get further. Oh man, she was mad at me. Yeah, but if, if you're trying you, to, oh wait, hey, I'll say you almost glazed over a gen there. What'd you do, Colt? Just oh. being me, like <laughs> God. Being me. <laughs> so I was sitting there complaining, like I just had the worst sinus and I've had the worst migraine, and she just yells at me for it, like it's my fault. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, she is. Somebody goes, oh, have you ever – look at this funny <laughs> I mean, joke. It's somebody coughing or something. I mean, inconsiderate, like, right? Weird. I mean, I'll, I'll go inconsiderate Yeah, how that. dare you? How oh, dare well, you we go. talked about Your weak-ass white blood cells. Yeah. <laughs> inconsiderate. She did, she did make a comment about that. <laughs> Mi primero. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and there you go. But, but yeah, no. Like, uh, you know, even it's funny when you talk about giving gifts or something, too. Mm -hmm. Somebody sends you a gift, you're more likely to – Hold them in high regard. Remember the mustache realtor guy sent you that? Oh, yeah. I love that. That was great. I still think about that. That was great. Guy with the suit. I still think about that. Yeah, so, the suit so, was great. So there's things that other people have done for you that they don't even realize that I saw that and think yeah. higher of them. But here's the here's the interesting thing about that. And I got this from Steve Sims from his book, uh, the first one, Blue Fishing, which is an amazing book. And this is what Steve used to do, which I thought was so amazing, but you kind of can't do it anymore. Steve would go, go to women and be like, hey, nah, hey, hey don't cupcake. Don't yeah. smack on the ass. No, no, no. You don't do that. He no. would uh, he would get on an airplane when they had the sky mall, right? And he would just ask the, the flight attendant, can I have all this can I have all the sky malls at the end of it? Right? Can I have these? And they would say, sure, or take them all, because they don't care. They're you know ratty, whatever. He would just take them. And then he would sit in his hotel room. He would go downstairs to the to the concierge and say, you know, hi. I'm one of the number one luxury concierges in the country. I wanted to send out some posts to some of my clients. Do you have any stationery I could use? And they'd be like, hell yes, we do. There you go, sir. And it was, all, and they give him the stamps, everything. And this cost him nothing. And then he would sit in his room with the Sky Mall and he'd flip through it and he'd see like the Bigfoot like statue, like the one that's like hanging out in the yard. Yeah. And he would just rip out the Bigfoot statue and he would write, saw this and thought of you and just put it in the envelope and send it to his clients. <laughs> and he goes, you have no idea Response. how many times I would run into people and I'd be like, my name's Steve Sims. And I'd be like, Steve Sims. Steve Sims. I was at a dinner party once and the guy that was throwing it was like, this guy sent me like a golf cap with like <laughs> UFO. Like, why do, does anybody understand why this would make him think of me? And he goes, I was the center of conversations that I, or that I wasn't oh even God. at. And it was in, in the best possible what, way. Like, why do like, even think about doing that? It's great. The best possible. What's the thing? best thing somebody's Made given me you? Think of you. <laughs> like, Some the best thing somebody's given me. Um, not most expensive because no, no, everybody no, no, always no, no, goes no. expensive. I'm no. like, it's not expensive. No, no, no. no. I'll, I'll, I'll think, tell you. I, I would I would push back. I assume that most people, it's not the most expensive. No, it's thing not. Given. It's I, not. Thoughtful. More people, it's like I will tell you. Thoughtful, or, yeah. Yeah. I, I will tell. I would tell you what that is. I'll tell you is years ago, and I don't know. I, I've read this somewhere since. So obviously they read it somewhere as well. But somebody at one point that their kid was on the same flag football team as my kid, and they were a really good photographer had like a really good camera like a really good everything and they just took pictures of like everybody's kid like all season oh, nice. at the end of it he just sent me a folder with like all these great photos of my kid playing sports that's awesome and if you're not a great photographer you can hire somebody to go out to it like if you have a championship you can hire a factor i mean it's nothing and then you got everybody that is on that team those parents will be so grateful to you for doing that unless they're weirdos and weirded out by it no, yeah, I don't think so. Taking pictures of my kids. I don't think. I, 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 dude, I find a photo somebody. shoot I'm for sorry, somebody. man. There's just always somebody. Not, may, may, maybe, maybe with girls, use sports, yeah. but not with boys. With boys, yeah, everybody, you just you go, you root. Everybody, you know, it's yeah. All the, you throw them in a pile, and they all just kind of. I'm being this. cynical. I'm That's being cynical. What would you? What about you? What have you got? My wife got me. Oh, yeah. 
a uh, 24 karat yeah, gold God. plated. But that's okay. You can't count that though. That's sick, dude. You can't count it. That's from your wife. Especially made. That's your somebody, wife. You can't okay, count client it. Client that doesn't know you. Nothing that from well. your wife. You're the talking about out of the blue, shows you. up at the office. That's what we're talking about. Oh, um, I, similar to you, having a guy send me that call in a lawsuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A suit with my logo and like a fully tailored suit because the same guy yeah, did yeah. A, another suit for me. Yeah. Sends me this suit with my business logo as the interior lining of it. Yeah, it's awesome. I like that a lot. Freaking amazing. It's awesome. You know, you, it's it's that I love the suit. The suit was a lovely touch. It that's, was lovely. That's that's pretty And tough. I and I have actually given away a lot of suits uh to my people as they do well. I, I think that's something that um feel good, look good, play good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, I wouldn't and even I have that. thought to do that. I'm I'm just not thoughtful like that. You're not thoughtful that way. All right. Well, I'll say this. Hire people to do it. You know <laughs> be thoughtful for me. When it comes to when it comes to creating networks, when it comes to creating a network and getting with people. I think that, you know, the higher up the ladder, the more high value they are. Again, you've got to always be coming from a place of value. I mean, whenever I call somebody, I leave them a message. My standard voice message, anybody I call my network is always starts with, Hey, I got something for you always. Cause if I need something, I'm not going to call unless I, unless there's no, unless sometimes there's, there's stuff that I need that there's no other way to get it. Like for example, um, Dan Fleischman, <clears throat> I needed a hundred of his books and I just wanted to know the easiest way to order them. Right, I was gonna pay for them because yeah. I was. I'm like, hey, I'm coaching like a bunch of our people. I want to give them a copy of your book. What's the easiest way for me to buy a hundred of them? Like, can I just? Because yeah. I know you self published it, so they're sitting in a warehouse somewhere. Like, who can I call? Just send send a Venmo. They send me one big box, and that's it. So I don't have to go to like Amazon and do the multiple whatever. You're yeah. getting charged a big. Well, how can we do this easy, right? And Dan, being Dan, just sent me it. Right, so when Dan sends me a little microphone, asks me to do his event, which I, I'm gonna pay for that stuff. You know, that's all give back. There's no, there's no money changing hands at those events, and, yeah. and it's, but I, I will drop whatever I'm doing because of that stuff. Sure, not not a problem at all. But like you look back when we had Ari Gold here, we had the Snack Daddy, and you're like, how do you hang out with Post Malone? How are you hanging out with all of these guys? That's something I can do for you. Yeah, and the answer was, I don't, I don't ever ask him for shit. I don't ever ask him for anything. When when the you know the higher people are, the more people are trying to, to get something from them all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I think professionals, it's like Colt that I asked for a specific thing that I just don't have a copy of because it, it's just paper. It's like if you haven't done it yet, I don't want to waste my time yeah, like right. recreating a wheel if a wheel already exists yeah. in your basement. Other than that, though, uh, you know, people ask me all the time, hey, do you got a contract for this, that? Yeah, here you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. And people need to realize, like, you know what, I'll, and if you can't afford stuff, like I said, it doesn't need to be the most expensive thing. Thoughtful. A thank you card sometimes will go a long way. I'm still People laughing about the sky you. molecule. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, dude, it's the best. <laughs> I just some of ever see that? Like a foot massage. You're like, hey, made me think of you. Yeah. Why? <laughs> like, why? Like, do you, you ever see that comedian together? But yeah, that's like a big foot. Really, is just blurry. It's not yeah, everybody with big foot. Actually, just blurry. What if he's just blurry? Well, when you talk about. Approach me. I'll tell you, you know what, when you're meeting people, let's talk about actually when you're actually out shaking hands and, and kissing babies and doing stuff and, and how to network and how to grow people at events. You know, I think we've talked about it before, but you know, if you're going to an event that is singular for your profession, you're in the wrong place. I get it. If it's a seminar, you need education, you need those things, that's fine. But if you're going to network with a bunch of other people that do exactly what you do, that makes no sense. They're never going to send you any business. Realtors people love, love to do it. Holy smokes! It, it was it was. You know, lawyers yeah. love to do it. They get do together they with too? other lawyers. It's like yeah, but you guys refer a lot back and forth. Yeah, Real estate agents. Yeah, they I don't. understand like because there's specialization. There's right. family law. Not like here. Commercial people don't go hang out with, with no 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 sellers. No. Not here. Like they don't. Right. But like a family lawyer. So like I like having people that do all these different things. Yeah. You yeah. know that I can just lean on and hey I got a case for you. Like I said that's. I, I called the guy the other day. We had a case together. I'm saying, hey, you know, this is the guy. Next day, he sends me a commercial client. Mm -hmm. He goes, oh, I forgot you were doing commercial here. I'll, I'll send you a commercial client. It's just you, that's where it makes sense to network. People that actually you can help. Yep. You, you know. can help and receive stuff from. So, yeah, well, it, it makes it, sense. you have to come from a place of, of giving. And I think, mm -hmm. um, you know, my buddy Ben Humble, I just was watching a clip of him and I thought it was very well put. He's like, you know, he, he, he was speaking in an event. He had his hand out and he said, you know, this is your heart. He goes, if your heart is open, it's just like your wallet. It can send money. It can receive money. Get that out. If this is your heart, you ain't ever going to get anything. Yep. And so leading with that, that trying to give or, or coming from a giver's point of view, which we do talk about a lot, is, is so important when you're, when you're approaching people. And because if people think you're on the take, dude, and you're just there to get something from them, they're out. 
they're going to be out quickly. You've got you've got to be something that can offer some sort something to the group. Yep. You got to you got to offer something. And you know, for a lot of my life, probably I ran around with some people that were way more successful than me, and and I was like the funny guy. You know what I mean? The problem with if you're just a funny guy, but you can't talk yeah. <laughs> serious, that runs out of steam at some point. Mm-hmm. You run out of steam. So if that's your, if you're right now, if you're listening to this, and there's nothing wrong if you're that guy, but you need to advance your skill set because I promise you, <laughs> the, the runway is like uh, the the, the Louis guy from the state. Like which guy? Remember the movie, the show, The State. MTV's The State. Mm-hmm. Vaguely, was that Bob Odenkirk? I'd like to dunk my that, that guy. Was that mm-hmm. Bob Odenkirk? No, no, no. It's just like if you're the guy that 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 you know you get kept Crazy around guy. to be the Bert Kreischer. Oh really. yeah. You know, <laughs> you, it, it runs out of bandwidth, man. It does. Yeah. But I'll tell you some tips for, for meeting people in person when you're at events and you're talking to people. First of all, one of my little secret things that I always do is I never ask people what they do. I ask them, tell me about you. And then when they you know, give me their canned spiel of I do A, B, and right. C for company, <laughs> A, B, whatever. I'm like, oh, cool. So you're this. But tell me about you, man. Like, what do you like to do? Like, like I, I don't work at your company, so we don't have that in common. So like, what do you, tell me about you, fill me in on it. And then people are normally skip such a beat on that question. Yeah, I don't know how to answer it. They're, they're so, cause they're, they're in that shake. What do you mean? Next, I'm business a card, shake business card next. kid. No, <laughs> but, but you will be absolutely unforgettable if you approach that a meeting like that and don't do it creepy. Like tell me about your children, yeah. the, the lady that's a, that's a girl. Kids, for sale. Huh? Don't do that. But no, but if you just say, tell me about <laughs> you as a person, like, what do you like to do? Or do you have a family? Like, what about you, man? People will remember that because everybody's just trying to hand the business card, shake the hand, get to the next thing. It's just all they're trying to do. They're, they're not doing anything smart. Bob Vance, Vance refrigeration. Yeah, exactly. Ex- 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 exactly. No, exa- but exactly. It's, it's- it's funny how we laugh about it, but I just went to an event because I was trying to push out the roofing thing to some guys, and I went to an event, and that's exactly how it was. Bob Vance. Bob Vance. There you go. There you go. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. What do you do, I Bob? Just, <laughs> I sat in the corner. I'm like, I can't even deal with this Well, stuff. people, you know, you got to have a plan when you go into a networking event, and people go in with this plan to collect as many business cards or hand out as many business cards as they can. That is the wrong plan. I am networking. Your plan. Uh, your, I yeah, have networked with your, people. Your plan should be to create memorable relationships with sure. a handful of people. You handful, do that at the grocery store, handful. though. I mean, honestly, like, there are some times when those events make sense. Like, my wife's got a business doing medical lead and stuff. So she goes to different events and goes and, you know, because there's doctors at those events that can literally use right. her business. Yeah. That's different. Like you said, I've but been you can't so hit many of these. every single person. There, no, right. No. That's you what gotta sometimes people. let them know that you're there. You, you know, can't yeah, take no, around. No, which, 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 which you know, which, which, is, which is which is which is fine. Yeah. But let me let me ask you this, counselor, because I'll go with this. What is your wife's elevator pitch when people ask her what she does? Does she say I own a collections medical account? What does she say? We, uh, she actually has a. She was in sales. So she's like, oh, we help doctors, you know, get medical records or whatever. Perfect. Yeah, she does the. So value pitch. she says the actual. This is the problem that I solve. Yeah, not I am a account executive. Yeah, we at help. ABC yeah, we help. We help doctors. We we help streamline their their records process because you know, uh, you know, HIPAA compliance could be a real yeah. pain. So we yeah. we're there to add, you know take that off of the company or we provide. Um, you know, if you even look on the website, it, it's a part of their uh, identity to say that to say we're is. here to provide liquidity. You know, so that you don't have to hold old paper for. Forever. Yeah. Yeah. No, that is, it should be, you know, one of the, one of the people in my coaching group, it's so funny for, and this person been in business for a long time. And we did a whole thing through that on networking and how to network. And we actually had an event they had to go to. I actually hosted an event that all of them had to go to with a, with, with a mission to work it. Like it was a like seal team six, maybe it was, it was serious. Kind of like the pickup artist. When yeah, it was bars. exactly. It was, we took the them, in, would we, take we, them to we, bars. We, we took like, them into a real life thing, <laughs> which was amazingly <laughs> amazing by the way. And if you've never, have you ever read the, the game by Neil Strauss? Of course. Oh, it's amazing. Um, but anyway, of course. <laughs> so we sent them out there and one of my agents has been in the business for probably 10 years. She says, anytime anybody's ever asked me, she wrote this in our Facebook group the other day. She said, anytime anybody's ever asked me about real estate for 10 years, I've always said, what do you do? I'm in real estate. That's what I've always said. And she said the other night she was sitting at a bar and striking up a conversation with her and her husband with a couple next. And I said, what do you do? And she goes, I help people make, you know, I help people make money by transacting real estate. Yeah. And they said, how do you do that? Yeah. And then she there now is talking about this. The and open. then before she left, she sent an appointment with them 
And then the bartender's like, I overheard your conversation. I want to buy a house. So by having a better conversation yeah. that carried on longer than real estate, I'm in real estate. How's the market? Oh. Well, you know, it's tough. Oh, I mean, you know, up and down. That, that was 99% of real estate conversations you hear at networking events. But by having something you could perpetuate, it's actually led to some business. I, which is more. I just can, got, can I, I got pitched really good at a thing. The guy was just like, oh, I teach people how to buy stuff through life insurance, stuff like that. But mm-hmm. yeah. when it sat down to him, he's just purely life insurance guy, right? But he sat and had yeah, coffee with me because his pitch was so good. I'm like, good mm-hmm. for you. What I do, one of my things is find whoever's hosting the network event because they know who's coming to that mostly. Yep. And I go up to them and say, hey, how are you? About, hey, who who should I connect with? Well, I like that. I always, and they will. They'll sit there. I was just at one at, at the Legacy Club up at the top of the circle. I go, mm-hmm. hey. I'm here. There's 150 people, 0.3 people I need to talk to. He goes, that guy, that guy, that guy. Cool. Thanks. That's it. I was there for 45 minutes. Didn't it? Everybody else going, here's my card. Here's my card. Here's my card. <laughs> I handed three cards out, talked to people, had uh, lunch with one of them. Like, don't try to hit the whole room. Figure out who you need to talk to. Strategery. 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 I got one, I got three words for you. Strategery. <laughs> <Strategies. laughs> Whatever that is. Yeah. But I, but I, I like that. I like that because in a in a weird way, that's one of my one of my points too is being the guy that can connect the dots. That's who I like to be known as. Um, you know, I like to be the guy that anything you need is a you know no more than a phone call or two away. Yep, connector, yeah. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Be that connector. And, like, you know that the guy hosting an event is the guy you can go talk to and get that done. You know, Ty Lopez, I don't know if you know who Ty is, the, the Life of My Garage guy that's oh, built an empire. Dude, I'm sorry. Whatever, you can say whatever is, you want, Ty. Is that guy? But let me tell you how Ty got so connected. All he started doing was throwing parties, throwing meetups. It's all he started yeah, doing, yeah, inviting yeah, all these people. And he just got known as the guy that knew everybody. He's that guy that's like, in my garage, there's my Lamborghini. Yeah. That guy. Well, that okay. What's that, his thing? That video, that he is an entrepreneur at the purest heart. He now owns like Pier One. He owns a lot of. He owns Radio Shack. He owns a lot of failed brands and has reconverted them to yeah. online market. But he's bought. He's a branding expert. Is essentially what it is. But he's All bought right. these brands with name brand stuff and converted them to online businesses. That do he bought Dress Barn. He owns. He does very. Very well. Uh, yeah, I never, all I saw was that one commercial. And, just and you like, saw it, it, but no, do you know that video had like 30 million views? Oh, yeah. It was like the first viral, viral, viral video. And, he, and it was just, that was it. And it was, uh, it was amazing. But again, with him, it's all about just making sure that, you know, you lead with value. You know, if, if you know everybody, right, it, it also helps you in your business. If I'm some... Uh, Perfect example, right? Our friend Adam Sadie, right? Yeah. Nike. So anytime somebody would be like, oh, I need, or I can hook you up with this, I'd go to him. Who mm-hmm. is this guy? And if Adam knew who he was, I knew he was legit. Yeah. If he yeah. didn't, so no, having people that are at mm-hmm. top of their game know who you are is automatically going to set you up with, you don't have to sell yourself as hard too. So if your network uh, is very well-connected people that they can trust, then you're automatically going to be trusted too. Well, 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 I'll tell you too, you know, we talked about the other day, people do business, people they like, know, and trust. And one of the main reasons that we do the podcast, I mean, the main, one of the reasons we do here is to be known and trusted. You know, I, I, I am never, how many times have you been shocked when you walk up to somebody and they're like, I love your podcast. And you're like, you listen to the podcast? I mean, I've had some people Say that, that like shocking, usually said right, Poche and no. Scribner breaking my chops. Right. Don't do that. But I, it's because they're jealous. <laughs> Whatever. But no, but the point is when you hear that, they're like, Scripper said to me, he's like, bro, I love the podcast. I'm like, thank you, man. I appreciate that. But the point is when, when, but just like a random person you never thought would listen to this or see these clips, right. like comes out to me like, bro, I love your podcast. Like when Cody Spurro was like, man, I want to come on your podcast. I was like, oh, okay, Cody, with millions and millions of views on YouTube and you're calling me, I'm not calling you. Absolutely, sure. bro. I love that. Um, but yeah, and you know, I'm, I'm going to drop, I'm going to segue for a minute or sidebar, if you will. Sidebar. Right? Sidebar. I happened to look at the stats the other day on our podcast, and this is an interesting stat. 16% of our listeners have something in common. Does anybody want to guess what that might be? Do they have real estate licenses? No. <laughs> Do they also have hookers buried in their basement? Yeah. Like, no. Well, maybe. Say, no. Oh, they live in, the in Canada. Really? 16. I'm telling you, you're bringing that great white North you, demo yeah, right home for us. That's definitely, uh, that one's on me. 16 from Canada. <laughs> you're bring, you're Those bringing are my it people. In. And 100% from Regina. 
<laughs> so thank you very much to Chris's Come mom for yeah. spreading the word up there. <laughs> Whatever you're doing is helping up. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, I thought it was great. And, and dude, and there's people all over the world that listen to this, which is so funny to me because I just sit here and thinking, right now there's some dude in Uganda trying to figure out. Hell yeah, bro. Send me some Waraji. <laughs> yeah. Connell Law, right, right now. 7318 <laughs> West Post Road, Unit 203. I would love a bottle of your finest Waraji from Uganda. There's somebody what in Uganda that? listening. Waraji right is I don't even know what a is. Ugandan banana liquor. And it's um, the name Waraji came from Warjin. Warajin. Roger. I love how you throw some random country on. This guy goes to <laughs> gotta the get most. Pretty early cold. You got to get up pretty put, put, early. Putting in an order. Pretty early in the morning. Put an, putting an order in, which is Press awesome. Chris. So when you look for it, okay, I had another question. You're in a My Box Saturday. Whose My Box was that? Oh, you like that? I mean, who that, doesn't that like that? That was pretty sweet. Uh, by the way, that was probably the nicest vehicle I've ever been in. Were you in town? Yeah. So Dosa? No. No? No. Where'd, where'd you get the My Box? guy in. Different client, John. Different client. Different client. Totally different, unrelated client to that. Just sent the car for you. Um, sent me in the Maybach and the and the wife home from dinner. Home in the Maybach from home in the Maybach from dinner. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I uh, fucking went full Rick Ross and was just <laughs> <laughs> pushing. I think I'm there, me. there pushing all the buttons. Pushing all the buttons to get. <laughs> I rolled Shout out to Cole. Cole. Hoover. I mean, at some point though, at some uh, point, it's today. it's annoying because you got to get out. Because I could. I could, could see myself way. just doing cross country trips in that for no reason, just literally sitting there with like bottles of champagne. That's why when we take the Sprinter van, I don't want to get out. Yeah, or when we take, but take, this for so on a jet, a, it's a like can we though, just it rotate? Like full, it's like being in a, in a lay flat, um, you know, Emirates oh, nice. first class. Yeah, sweet. That's what the back of the car is like, and that was a, a game changer for me. How, how flat did the seats go? They go pretty good. Like, <laughs> I'm just very don't cushy answer pillows. That. Don't answer that. The wife was just looking at me like, do, 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 do. And some people are like, oh, that looks like a cool Uber. I'm like, if you don't know, you don't yeah, know. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Who didn't know that was a Maybach from right away? Nice Uber. Nice Uber, Chris. It's awesome. <laughs> Party Uber. It's like, uh, nope. Uh, that was it. Expensive but Uber. <laughs> how, much of your, how much of your business, like, again, how much of your business comes from referral? How much of it comes from other places? 100% referral. 100% referral. 100%. Colt? 95 yeah, all mine comes from referrals. Yeah, well. ninety five. I mean, and you never, and you just never know. You never know who you're who you're talking to when it right. comes. I mean, one of the clients that I had this year was a, a billionaire from Louisiana. One, it was the wealthiest guy in the state of Louisiana. He owns all of like the power companies there. It's oh, crazy. Right. And yeah, and and I got, he got referred to me. And um, yeah, you know, and, and again, and here's a, here's a great example, right? When we were at that wedding in California, mm -hmm. we were there. Talk about odd little things, right? So I closed a deal for them maybe seven, eight months ago. But as we were as we were going, when we were in that wedding, mm -hmm. that that horse, that was free that free oh, yeah. horse at the wedding, right? Bad ass so horse. You should have seen this. She loved I, I remember she loved those Frisian horses. That was her thing, right? So I took a picture of the horse and I texted to her and I said, Hey, I'm at this wedding in Northern California. I'm standing here by this beautiful Frisian horse. It made me think of you guys. I hope you're well. And I sent her a picture. Of the horse and she was like oh my god that's amazing it cost me zero dollars to yeah. do that but it was a very small detail about her that i remembered that right. made her day that i remember that now small thing top of the mind again yeah people forget you the little things not man. always on top of mind and sometimes your best network it's not always the richest people or the people with most power like i get a lot of referrals from a guy that a he has family that is real estate agents and brokers mm -hmm. and he he He's not well connected, but he just loves to refer and he's an awesome guy and sends me a lot of stuff. And I, yeah. I love that. Like I, I've got other people that they'll refer you every once in a while. But. Uh, that's a good thing to point out is that none of this stuff can be for its own purpose. Mm -mm. You didn't do that to be like, oh, I can't. It's like, no, I literally thought of you. Yeah, I literally yeah. did. And I, I'm not doing it to ingratiate myself. It's a second. It's like when people say this drives me crazy. You go do community service, you go do charity, you go hand out food to the homeless or whatever. I, if you take a picture of it and put it on your social media for your own memories or whatever, hand out food to the homeless or whatever, some people will say, oh, you're just doing it for that reason. It's like, well, no, 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 no. I'm trying to put out good. I'm trying to do this and that. Um, if one of the byproducts of it is you seeing it and going to do it, 
You there's know, maybe a specific it reminds you. way to do yeah. it. There's a way to do how it. How to be obnoxious. But I'm saying, I don't care if you're doing it for those right reasons or for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Just to keep you doing but it. If you're doing it. Just right? do so it. So just do it. So just be a decent person and good things will happen. Don't do it. Wouldn't the world be easier if everybody was just a decent person? Just be decent. Yeah. But there's so much <sighs> trauma. Not, there's there's so much trauma in people. There's so much. Every single person in prison thinks they're still the good guy. Let me ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question right now. What, because it is election day. And this is a this is a problem. What percentage of people that voted today are three percent actually aware are actually <laughs> mad at the people that voted the other way, like like angry oh, a lot. at them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but these are the same people that think 80%. that don't understand how economics works. Don't understand that. But no, no, no. But it's not about that. It's 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 about if you're not if you don't think exactly the same way that I do. Fuck you. Yeah, if That's I was a woman, I'd be pretty pissed off if someone was trying to take rights away from me. No, but I'm just no. I mean, I think you have a right the point as that a I'm, woman to right. say if you're trying to take rights from me and people that are inalienably characteristic like me, then fuck you, pal. I, I totally understand that. If it's mm-hmm. like, but hey, you could do that choice with A or choice anything. B. Well, no, no, no. That's very specific. Yeah, you could choice A, or choice B about two different things. Should we buy Clorox or should we buy you know this other yeah, brand? But, but, That's one but, thing. But here, but here's the thing though. So you, you're not putting religion in this at all because you're not religious. But you you can be mad at somebody that's religious that that is actually against their religion to do that. You can't be it's, mad at them. But here's you just have to accept that truth, that is their feel, viewpoint. It's not against their religion. Just like though. they. But hang on, they, they if they view it as it is, but they're wrong again. It doesn't they're wrong if oh, they view no, it. If they, they view it, it as it is, it is. But here's the thing: I could say it, it, I there's people that view themselves it, as being the opposite gender. Right. right. When it, so people have this thing. Oh, but in the Bible, literally, abortion is a cure if your wife cheats on you. Well, we're supposed to acquiesce, but the point is, like, but I'm saying you're missing you the even... point. You're, you're arguing a point that we're not trying to fucking argue. You're trying to get us canceled, <laughs> Jesus. The point no. that I'm making is is the civility and respect that other people need to have for differing opinions and having the right to exercise their opinions. That is the problem. Right. I'm not talking about an issue. Jerk nuts, try to get us no, 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 canceled. Not at all. I'm saying that I understand why people would feel a certain way about you voting a certain way if it was hurting them. If it literally hurt them, if it literally prevents somebody from accessing a certain amount of equality or whatever, then I do understand people saying this isn't just a matter of, oh, you know, like there's some Nazis over here and people are against Nazism, so let's meet in the middle and just have half Nazism. It's like, no, no, no I understand why uh, people were mad at Kanye West. I understand. <laughs> yeah, coming. No, but again, if if that's the whole thing about understanding others and being tolerant, you know. Of, Can you of, believe we still have Nazis? In this no, age? that's what I'm saying. But so isn't that the most amazing thing it. ever? You know, right. my God, there's some stuff you hear and you're like, Jesus Christ, that is crazy. That is that crazy. Is. Well, did, well, okay, like, well, okay. It, it, it's it's shocking to me that anybody goes down any type of a road like that anymore. Because I mean, sure. you look at what who's the Boston Bruin guy that like in eighth grade terrorized some little kid and now he's basically kicked out of the nhl not saying it's right not no, saying I don't, it's wrong I remember. it just happened um, yeah. he's now he's a pariah to the league but like yesterday this morning on fox or whatever i was on or cnbc and i could read them all i was on one of the sites and it showed a fight happening on the university of kentucky campus between a black woman and a, and a white woman mm-hmm. two students and the white woman decided on camera to yell the n-word and my initial thought was a if you're that fucking stupid to do that to your whole that. life is done that chick's whole life is done right now. Done right there. I mean, but is it? Yes, it is. You think that? Remember I think that, it is. No, but like you, you could now, if, if you ruin your and life I, I think that way, you that's just have enough. to go try now to be so extreme. To now you have to life, just right? go. Yeah. yeah. But uh, again, who I, uses these I, but, words? Well, anyway. the problem is this. The problem is this, though, is there is no path to redemption, too. To John's point, yeah, I, I'm not going to sit there and I want to educate people. I don't want people just having these platitudes about, Oh, that's just this, and don't, it's like no, no, no. I want people to be educated. Like, it's a very important thing for me to say. You're not doing something because your religion says so, and it doesn't. Or you're not doing that because you're doing it because your parents didn't like it, because their parents didn't like it, because sure. of the sect they were in. That's not what that book says. I, I promise you. I went to Catholic school. I will tell you verse and chapter and where it doesn't say that. What happens is I just want honesty. I want there to be honesty and integrity in all those things. So when I look at somebody and they say hey, I would like to deprive, um. X type of people from having X type of right that Y pe- a person has or, or would never be exposed to. I can see why people would say, hey, that affects me. 
And if you don't respect me enough to think that I'm your equal in this matter, then I don't respect the way you voted. I think that's perfectly on the table. That's why we need so, more than two parties. Uh, okay, so, so, okay, question, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So based on that logic, do I have the right to be outraged at the waste of my tax dollars because I pay more than most? Do I have the right to be mad at you because you voted for an entitlement program that would benefit you when it comes out of my pocket? I do think, I have the right to be entitled by Should I be outraged by that? I think you that? can criticize it, absolutely. I don't think I, I, I think no. I think the bottom line is with stuff like that is my opinion is over here. I understand why you want to have that opinion. You do what you do. It right. affects them. It affects me same way. Yeah, so that's a good point. But then again, to that point, which is where it gets interesting. We're not talking about networking at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but we are because we're understanding other people and how things yeah. work. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, what you need to consider is if a guy who's got a million dollars is complaining about not being able to make $2 million versus a guy who's got $40,000 was born in a different circumstance to say that it affects me more, right? It doesn't affect base quality things like healthcare, hmm. right? It's not like your ability to co continue existing. But who, but, but, but who do you think, okay, for example, you look at hyperinflation now because everything's been ridiculously free for, for ever. And now yeah. you have all of these people that are hyper upset about the inflation mm -hmm. because they're uneducated in the fact that you can't just keep taking at some point, you got to pay that money back. Sure. You know, I don't understand like the college education thing. I don't get that at all. I the, mean, I, the going to college, no, the, for, the debt forgiveness. I, I don't get that at all. Cause well, I'm like, I'm like, dude, what about the GIs that have gone into harm's way and been shot at? Just to earn that, but right. that's not. But again, why do we have to? Why why do you have to go get shot at to go get educated? Like I want everyone to be yeah, educated. You should the, you should <laughs> fix the problem, right? The problem why is not? that the institution you, you right. the problem, is blown out of proportion. You fix proportion the problem because, going. You fix the problem going forward, right, retroactively. Right. But again, so oh, you don't retroactively help the people that weren't helping themselves or couldn't help themselves. But I'm sorry, if you go to college and get a liberal arts degree, you're a dumbass anyway. And you mean, don't deserve to get it paid for. At the end of the day, though, a rising tide lifts all ships. And one thing about a quality of a society, there is a high correlation to a quality society and education. And education, sure. So I'd rather invest in that than blowing up people in in Sudan. No, I agree. I agree. But I think in the greater, <laughs> se I think in the greater, se well, I mean, what part of Sudan? Well, <laughs> no, just not, not the part we were going to the about. air show <laughs> driving down the freeway. Our air show is badass, uh, Chris. I'm sorry. Stop talking crap yeah, on our planes. Yeah, Bro, I, I love Top Gun 2 as Dude, much as anybody, but the, the SR 71 costs something like $20 million a flight. So I mean, like, flight? yeah. So we, so again, we get mad about how can something cost twenty million dollars a flight when you take in the fixed cost yeah. of everything oh. and you break it down? It flew forty times. It cost eighty million dollars or eight hundred million dollars oh, or whatever. So it doesn't, doesn't seem. It doesn't seem. Cost all effective. I want is this. I want an economics party. Can we all just agree that the Stinger missile is the greatest thing oh, ever invented? Because it's, so it's like absolutely impressive. It just doesn't cost that much, and it doesn't. It just, just to be consistent, it's supposed to do. I hate how excited I get about military <laughs> ordinance, yeah. while at the same time complaining about complaining the cost about of it. it. Exactly. No. But yeah, no. But the the libertarian in me, right, wants me to think that all people are going to try to look out for them, their own interests, which would mean that which I want. They are. Yeah, but I also understand that if I was you, I would understand what your interests are, right? We're all living each other's lives just from different experiences. Yeah, no, I get, I get it, but I think a big problem is people just don't bother to get respect educated. any, well, not educated, but they don't respect people's opinions on things. I, I don't feel, I think, I think everybody has a right to have their own opinion. Yeah, but not all opinions are the same. There's this uh, newspaper ad for the Globe and Mail. But there was this newspaper ad that said this. It had all these outlandish things. I think the this, earth is this, flat. It's shit, it's shit like this. They, like, this is why we have 16% Canadians. Because <laughs> they like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get that to 20. No, no. <laughs> no. No, there was this Globe and Mail is a newspaper, and it said there was people, oh, the earth is flat. It's my opinion the earth is flat. Well, uh, I think this should be this. And it was just these really exaggerated outlandish opinions. And then it says, everybody has an opinion. Is yours informed? And it was the end of the newspaper. Well, we, you know what well, they no, should back do? Up, back up, because we have talked about that as well. We've said, like, look, if somebody, if you hear something, ask them where they heard it. If they heard right. it from not a credible source, what research did you do to verify right. it? And, you know, and, and before you disseminate these terrible ideas. We, we have talked about that. that is, so but then what, the, could we all just agree, like, a pina colada is an okay thing? Drink for a guy to drink. One thousand percent. Who said 1, it was it? Thousand. Dude, I'm, I'm so tired of people no, making. You're at the wrong network. Fruity, yeah, yeah. fruity <laughs> drinks yeah. are not manly no. thing, dude. I there there's been days on the strip Sangria's when I'm walking. Oh, I'm, I'm walking somewhere on the strip, and I, you you roll up on the on the daiquiri stand. And you're like, 
What? Why would I, Miami I, could Vice? Tell, I could do a Miami Amazing. Vice. Okay. I could do this. Men have taste buds too. I hate to tell you this. Yeah. Why do men? We need to normalize it. Why don't we normalize things smelling nice or like candles or like plug in freshness? Dude. Yeah. I we talked about this. I get so excited about the Bed Bath & Beyond oh. free wick candle cell. <laughs> I wick walk candle out of there. Cell. He knows. Amazing. <laughs> free wick candles. Oh, man. How many people do you network with in the candle department at Bed Bath & Beyond? You know what? I get Go. hit on a lot. <laughs> I'll say that. I got to be careful, yeah. yeah. I love Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, we need God. to normalize Bath & Body Works. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I get the bed and bath. bath. And yeah, it's bath and I, I definitely see you more yeah. in the beyond category than the better <laughs> bath category. The bath and body works. For sure. Uh, no question at all. Well, guys, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to break it up so we can bring back I mean, I'm assuming it's just Canadians that are listening at this point. So, oh, Jeepers. Uh, <laughs> Did you know yeah. like 90% of, of your Canadians live within like 90 miles, miles of the border? Of the border? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Good fun fact. Because they're trying to get to America, son. I hate to tell you what's uh, above that threshold, but it ain't a lot. The great white wasteland. It's just all land and all the resources and water on Earth. (laughs) It's just literally resources and water. And that is all it is. Oil and water. Yeah. That's all it is. It's so resource rich. It's insane. Well, listen, if you're going to go network, which hopefully you are, uh, you will take our advice. You will have a plan where you will go. You'll walk in. You'll understand who you want to meet. You will not go in with your hand out, but instead offering something uh, to somebody. Lead with generosity. Be memorable in this stuff and take care of your spirit. And stay in touch with Yeah, there's nothing worse, man. I don't know if we talked about that, but there's nothing worse than the guy that hasn't called you in like 18 months and then out of the blue, hey, how are you doing? I was thinking about you today. And you're like, one, two, three, yeah. because I need this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's why you were thinking about me. Don't think about me the other time. One, just because you needed this. Three. three. Yeah, but also because. follow up, right? Like yeah, right. I've been to events and people are like, oh, hey, I've got this, this, and this. I'm like, I'm interested. Yeah. And then nothing. You think yeah. I'm, I'm not yeah, saving true. your card that you gave me. Yeah, take, like, like send an email right not. away at the spot so yeah. that I can search you if I need to. Yeah, I always I, I like I like the video text message when I leave events. I like oh, that. That's good. I like the video text message because because if they didn't necessarily know who I was, now they got my name again. I'm normally sending it through do the mean? gram. I don't I don't connect. Say it's good for you. It's good to meet. Yeah, you yeah I, I don't I don't time. connect. I don't connect on business cards. My, all my connections are made through Instagram. And then as soon as I leave the event, I go back and I make a mental note of why I kind of met. And then I'll go to the messaging app in Instagram and I'll shoot a real quick video of me just saying, "Hey, bro, it was great meeting you." Blah blah blah. You want to talk about this? Get with me. Whatever. Let's 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 catch up. Oh, cool. I like that. And then they can then because you know again if you. We all like to think we're the most memorable person in the room, but sometimes you're not. And this way they see your face along with who you and, are. And, and, associate and they them. just talk to you and you're like, oh, yeah, I remember this guy. So that's a good way yeah, to do it. 100%. And plus, that's another reason why I like social media, because if you connect with them there, now you're they can kind of see who you are. Now you're connected. Yeah. And this is, you know, again, man, talk about the power of, of network and the power of, uh, of imaging. That blue, that, blue che- that blue check mark on Instagram does matter. I've had times when... I've talked to people and I've been like, oh, let's connect to Instagram and I'll just connect on them and I can see them literally walk away from the room and then they'll flip over and they'll turn on the Instagram and they'll, they'll look at me and then they'll come back around. Because also, I'm telling you, it's the weirdest thing. Certain crowds, certain crowds don't care, but certain crowds. Maybe they do. were just gassy, John. No, <laughs> they were crop dusting me. Are you nuts? No, not at all. No, I'm it's telling you, in certain, in certain, that like the younger crypto type, yeah. those rooms, that that shit matters and it carries weight. Well, that's because again, they. Now we're like, who's this guy? He must have a good network. Yeah. Like it all. It's got to be somebody. Would yeah. you pay the eight bucks for it? Uh, no. Oh, would I pay the eight bucks for Twitter? Hell yeah, I would. No, for yeah, just for the experience, not for the check. I don't care about the check mark on Twitter. Twitter's I I don't. Who still use it? Do you? Oh, use Twitter? I never like Twitter. Huge, I've never been a fan of it, dude. I, I don't use get Twitter it. Twitter a lot. There's Do you? huge business deals going down on Twitter. Yeah, there are. That's just little is this how you communi- Is it how you communicate to the mothership? Is this Only how you do fans. it? No, I yeah. swear to God, man. There's real estate. They call it retweet. Um, uh, and there's a huge. I mean, these are big, big time people. These are people worth hundreds of millions that are. Yeah. I'm on it. They're getting My hit. My sister no. loves it up and down. She says it's the great way to communicate. It's just pure information. I find it totally uninteresting. You just have to, see to be screaming at each yeah. other. No, you're following the wrong thing, right? Like I'm telling you, if you utilize Twitter, right? Man, I'm watching this. It's crazy. Yeah. So do you get awesome. new deals from it or just people on these there? These guys are, are getting deals left and right. Is he seeing like, opaque, John? Is he saying these guys like keeping it real? No, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show okay. you. It's it's wild, but again, it's like anything. You got to utilize it right. You your your it. your Instagram set up a certain way. My Instagram set up a certain way. Yours is too, right? Like 
you have to stand out. And if you go to a networking event and you're wearing all black suits and stuff when everybody else is wearing black suits, ain't going to happen. I go in and I watch (laughs) so many people scan in the rooms. They see me and they stop. And then they go and you see what they're doing. Hey, who's that guy? Who's that guy? It's the, I always it's, wear it's the deadness. It's when I come in my speed. Like, when you come into a, a spe- pop- with the <laughs> speedo, when you come in with the speedo, the world changes. I thought I saw a picture of pure evil in the Khmer, <laughs> Khmer Rouge Museum yeah. in Cambodia. <laughs> just to see yes, it. I have <laughs> suits that are like, purely just, for networking. Just staring to like, just this. You know, no, like, who's this funny. guy going to eat? No, I have suits. I my my loud suits. If you see me at a networking event, I'm usually in a louder suit. Well, dude, I I told you the one guy I met. We met it. I think you guys were there the night we were at the barbershop thing when I spoke, and there was a yeah. guy in the cowboy hat. And I just walked up to him. I'm like, well, I got I got to meet the guy in the cowboy hat. What's your story? And I figured he was yeah. going to say like I'm from wherever. And he's Texas. like, I'm from yeah. No, he's like I'm from San Diego. Yeah. I'm like San Diego. He's like, yeah, man. I was at a networking event around Halloween a couple of years ago, and I went as a cowboy. People love the hat. And people love the cow. And I just kept. I wore it the next day as a lark, and everybody just started calling me cowboy. So I've been wearing it ever since. I was like, I got to be honest with you, a cow- cowboy hat. A cowboy hat's a sharp piece of attire. Oh, my, by the way, Chris, by the way, by the way, by the way, real, 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 real quick, real quick, real quick. The Halloween costume was amazing. By the way, I did, we can't believe so. we didn't talk about it. Going as the Yellowstone couple was yeah. it, it was oh, amazing. Yeah, we didn't see it. Yeah, yeah. I went as Rip. Rip, and then, yeah, it was amazing. It was that well was done. Great. It was very well done. Yeah, it was, Caitlin was sitting there coloring my face with mascara <laughs> to give me a Rip beard. <laughs> do you want to know, huh? do you, do you know something crazy? The guy who plays Rip, do you know who that is? Yeah, it's yeah. a guy from Days and Confused. No, that's a guy from freaking Too Fast, Too Furious. Yeah. Too. No, no, before Days and Confused. Uh, Fast and Furious. What? Yep. You don't Too remember him from Days of Confused? No, that one shocked me. That shocked me, that too. That shocked me. That Days just shows you. Before that. It was his first movie. No, when but you that have was somebody, McConaughey. I always tell people, when you have a guy with a beard, make him shave it before you date him. Oh, yeah. Because he's not the same guy without a beard. Oh, he's way more handsome without a beard. Conor McGregor. Really? You think so? Yeah. I think he's more handsome. He looked more bill. evil, but definitely yeah. more handsome. Mm. Cole, just because he has a beard, he's just like, I, I got to hang on. Is this a beard? Is this considered a beard? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, oh, yeah. It's, really? Yeah, kind of. Beard is the makeup for men, by the way. Yes, it is. That's why I tell people, make them shave it. No, see, I, I will say this, though, though. You hit a certain age. Like, I've hit this age now. When I get this, I just look fucking old. Well, you get the when white. out. Because for me, it'd be like, oh. When it comes out, I just, I just, I, I got to shave it tight now. I can't, yeah. I can't do that. Like, I can't do that. I would look, I would look like I'm 100 years old if I had that rotten. Not wild. Right? All right, well, we're drifting. All right. So if you're still listening to this, thanks. Uh, if you're Cut watching us, Cut if you're it watching off. us on the YouTube or whatever you're watching on, make sure you like, subscribe. If you're listening to us on a podcast app, make sure you give us five stars. We will be back next week with another episode of The Power Move. See you next time. Hey, it's John Gafford. If you want to catch up more and see what we're doing, you can always go to thejohngafford.com. Well, we'll share any links that we've things we talked about on the show, as well as links to the YouTube where you can watch us live. And if you want to catch up with me on Instagram, you can always follow me at the John Gafford. I'm here. Give me a shout.